Hello everybody, I am Fadimatu Iawa Usmanu. I'm a young Cameroonian, actually the national president of the Cameroon National Youth Council. But I'm also an IT engineer in network and telecommunication and in software engineering. And um, I am also the CEO and, and founder of expert tracking and failure design and the president of the Associ humanitarian association Human which becomes also an NGO. How how is how is Tanzania been for you so far? Um, you know, some of your team members said people look at Tanzania as a place that couldn't hold such a beauty. I just want to start on that life question. <laughs> how is Tanzania been for you? Tanzania have been a, a beautiful experience for me. I can say that I have been um, very amazed with the environment, with the behavior of the people from Tanzania. They are very welcoming and there are a lot of tourists also around here. So the, those people are really, really welcoming. They are warm, welcoming. And so I was saying that Tanzania is a very beautiful environment with warm, welcoming people and those people are just making the place more safe and more innovative and creative for young people. As far as this retreat is concerned, and uh, I have met amazing young Africans during our participation in the Timon. It has been a wonderful experience that we learn from others and we also share our experience as far as the Cameroon National Youth Council is concerned, I had the, particip uh, I had the opportunity to participate as a panelist uh, to present what we have uh, done as far as our mandate is concerned at the level of the Cameroon National Youth Council. And uh, there were so many in, uh, powerful and uh, impactful thematic that we discuss about the decade of action and uh, the SDGs uh, when we talk about the Agenda 2030 of the United Nations and also the, Af uh, the Agenda 2063 of the African Union. And um, how was it to see uh, the youth of Cameroon who you represent and fight for turning up in numbers in, in this program also actually becoming the, 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 the best, uh, best delegates of the program? So the participation of Cameroon was just like wonderful. We had many young, talented participants who came from Cameroon. And I'm so proud that uh, I was at the head of the biggest delegation uh, during our participation of the Timon. We were almost like 15 participants, which is very great. And then uh, we had the opportunity to have the best female delegates. Uh, which is something that we are so proud about and that Cameroon is uh, also proud about, about the representation and uh, the fact that those youths are like um, representing um, the country but also Central Africa. Uh, we were like having a platform where Cameroonians can express their talents, Cameroonians can discuss, share and learn from other countries and uh, the experience of uh, Tanzania international model of United Nations was just something that opened their minds, that shows them how the General Assembly of the United Nations is operating and uh, it gives us the idea and also uh, the perspective for the future to welcome other young Africans at the CIMUN that we're going to organize. It will be uh, the Cameroon International Model for United Nations. And then we'll be able to host all those young, talented Africans, youth that were present to the CIMUN, but also others that wanted to discover and to learn from this experience. So we're going to implement something very new. And we're also um, inviting uh, the committee of the YCL 
to also come in Cameroon and uh, for us to be able to implement this project together so that we'll have such a beautiful retreat. A retreat. And I, I kept telling you that Cameroon is the Africa in miniature. So you will have a lot to discover in Cameroon and you, ha you will have different backgrounds of young, creative and talented youth that you're going to discover over there. We've not even started on interviewing you properly. <laughs> this is warm up, right? Um, yeah. And I know you, we're, we're limited in time, but um, I want to really capture the, the impact you've made, which from speaking to people, it has been significant in the country uh, since taking the role as the president of the council. So, um, just um, those activities that we used to carry it on at the level of the Cameroon National Youth Council, that goes directly with the Agenda 2063 for the Africa we want and the Agenda uh, 2030 of the United Nations as far as all the um, uh, sustainable development goals are concerned. We can capture them into four E's. Uh, which is part of uh, the initiative 1 million by 2021 of the African Union, which are education, employment, engagement, and entrepreneurship. Those are the four pillars of what we were discussing and having as far as the, all the caucus in the Timons are concerned, and even hear from the experience of the participants. And also in Cameroon, we're turning around these four pillars, like engagement in terms of the engagement of youth, because our voices matter. Um, we have to raise our voice to be able to speak as young leaders, to be able to be part of the decision making, but also to be able to uh, empower other youth and uh, raise our civic responsibilities and our patriotism and also our participation in the peace building process in Cameroon. For instance, we know that uh, uh, there are crises in the Northwest region, Southwest region and far North regions of Cameroon. So we are building the spirit of uh, peace builders in Cameroon or peace ambassadors in Cameroon because we work uh, with UNESCO and the Ministry of Youth Affairs and Civic Education of Cameroon on uh, uh, empowering young Cameroonians to become ambassadors of peace so that we might be able to create a generation of young Cameroonians that contribute, that are contributing to build and to sustain long and lasting peace in Cameroon, because this is what the head of state, His Excellency Paul Bia from Cameroon, is always asking the Cameroonian youth to step in and to take their own responsibility as far as our generation is concerned. Because without peace, we cannot talk about uh, entrepreneurship, we cannot talk about employment, we cannot talk about uh, even political uh, and sustainable political engagement. So those are the key important things that we need as young leaders to acquire as, as far as learning and getting some knowledge and some strategic toolkits to be able to implement what are really correct for us and what is very important for us to prepare the future and uh, because we the young people of today are the future of our country of our continent thank you thank you for sharing that um, i want to talk about the, the role of because we sit in a country where the recently become the first president of uh junior president of East Africa. Was, was, can you touch on, on the role of women and, and the shifts of power and um, support and development of women uh, from the time that you've been in leadership and how you've seen this shape, change and how you've shaped this locally and, uh, and, and globally as well? Yeah, I can say that I'm proudly representing um, the Cameroonian young woman 
and uh, I've been able uh, within uh, the youth council to be able to become the first ever female and uh, young Cameroonian at the head of the Cameroon National Youth Council, which is an honor for me and that I uh, uh, try my best to be able to be up to the task uh, as far as this mandate is concerned. But one thing is my uh, main concern is for our community to be able to understand that the place of the woman at the table of decision making is very important and very strategic for the future of our country, for the future of our continent, but also into our communities. So that parents should be able to know that education is very important for their kids and that they shouldn't just send young girls to early child marriage. Uh, they shouldn't uh, just let the girls suffering into our marital life uh, as far as gender-based violence are concerned. We have to fight against gender-based uh, violence. We have to raise our voice to be able to help those young women to dream and to dream big, not all, only to think about the fact that they should just stay behind and let the other people lead because we too we can lead we can do that and we can do that the best way so young women and the uh, young cameroonian has been like discovering or they have been like empowered and also discovered that they can do much better than what they were thinking seeing me at this position makes other young girls passionate about leadership about youth movement about uh youth association, about activism, about raising their voices. So it's something that I'm really proud of and I am still encouraging the parents to let their children go to school, uh, to, to help the young girls to go furthermore in their studies, to go to university, to learn more, to be able to have the opportunity to be part of some vocational trainings because they need to be professionalized, to be able to become uh, creative leaders, innovative, but also young entrepreneurs to embrace the world, to learn from the world and to take over whatever is coming, embracing that, but in a strategic manner, in a way that they can be able to be disciplined, they can be able to overcome and bring out, enlighten their potentials as young African, because this is what we want for the Africa of the future. Um, before I run off to, to organize your travel, or uh, finalize your travel, as a businesswoman, the importance of free trade within Africa. The, import the importance of free trade. Free trade. 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 Uh, okay. Okay, so uh, as a young entrepreneur, as I was saying, but also a life coach and a business coach, I help young people to be uh, able to overcome their fears and become leaders, but also to be able to settle and create their own companies uh, as far as entrepreneurship is concerned. So um, what I can say about... Um, African youth being into trade is that we have um, uh, to open the different borders of our continent f to uh, help the, uh, the, the, the youth of Africa to be able to travel from one country to another and to be able to settle their businesses and to gather or seize opportunities from one region to another into our continents so that we might be able to be uh, the Africa united we want. Because for us to overcome the economical um, background or issues that we're facing into the continent or into our different countries, we need like to unite our strengths and uh, 
overcome our weaknesses as individuals, as entrepreneurs, so that we might be able to reach another level, the level of young Africans that will be able to build a better future for our continent, that will be able to build a better future for us and individuals as young African, but I can say as young Cameroonian because there are several opportunities, so many things, variety of opportunity that we should be able to seize and uh, to help also the generation that is coming to take their responsibilities as African youth to contribute in the development of our countries, of our community, and uh, also to sustain the developments of our continent. And uh, those things can be used by using the 17 uh, goals of the sustainable development for the Agenda 2030 to be attained, uh, but also uh, all the different uh, tools and strategies that exist as far as I was talking about the education, entrepreneurship, employment, engagement of young African for the uh, attainment of the Agenda 2063 of the African Union to reach the Africa we want. Thank you very much. And the last question is, um, if you could give a message to the youth of the world or the youth of Africa, what would you say? I can say that our voices matter as young African, as young Cameroonian, as youth representing the huge percentage of the population in the world, in the continent, into our different countries. Our voices matter. We need to realize that we need to step in and to help our different government to build a better future for the African youth, for the Cameroonian youth, and that we need to take our responsibilities by being examples, by being like um, uh, entrepreneurs, by being innovative, by being creative, and learning from the elders, strengthening the dialogues between our elders and us, but also learning from the past mistakes and doing better as youth. And uh, just, yes, uh, young people need to dream big. They need to step in and to take their responsibilities because our voices matters and our different efforts, the contribution of the work that we are doing together can consolidate uh, the continent for us to be able to contribute for a better future of our continent. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Oh.